Hey guys, welcome back to Tech or Duo. Um, it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, kind of going through some changes in this room here. Um, did some reconstruction. Um, it is pretty bare right now, but uh, hopefully we'll have some a little, a little nicer around the area, but it's a bit of a mess at the moment. But um, just want to bring a quick video to you guys on my favorite package manager called Chocolatey. This is for Windows and it works fantastically for me, for my computers, and for my client computers. So let's get to it. All right, so if you go to chocolatey.org, you will see a bunch of information on the product itself. Uh, so you know what, let me just open up the main window here, go to the home page, so you can see the package manager for Windows. Um, there are a ton of different companies that use this. Um, there are a lot of different um, automation techniques for deploying this as well. But we're gonna do something simple. We're gonna install it just on this single computer. This is just my sandbox. And I'm gonna show you kind of just a really quick overview of this item. So if we go to install, you will see it will give you, it will give you options on how you want to install it. We're gonna go, go with the individual option here and we're gonna copy this line of code. And this is for PowerShell. So the first thing we wanna do is open up PowerShell here and run that as, as administrator. And we're going to paste this in and let it run. So there we go. It is downloading and installing the application for us. We'll give this just a minute here. And it is done. So as you can see, that finished there. So now the next step is to install applications. So as you can see, my desktop is clean. I don't have anything, any icons here. I don't have any applications installed. But um, let's pick out a couple applications, small ones, so that we can kind of display how this works. If we head up to the top and click on Community, we can click on Find Packages. And from here, um, it will kind of kind of tell you a little bit of the disclaimer here. We'll hit Dismiss on that. And you can see that there are 9,706 packages maintained, which is awesome. It is super cool. So um, I'm going to come in. I will use Firefox. So let me copy that. Let's just open up a notepad, paste it in here, and you can see Choco install Firefox. Let me zoom in a bit on this. Choco install Firefox. Let's pick out a couple of other ones as well. So we want to now also do, let's find Notepad. And oh, here it is. So you can see Choco install Notepad. We want to make sure we get the package name here. Um, you want the whole package name, if you put any spaces in there or, um, or writes out any differently, you will not get this package. It will fail on install. So let's head over to the notepad and do notepad plus plus dot install. We'll hit another space and we'll install one more item here. Let us do, um, 7-zip. So you can see 7-zip dot install is another one. Um, there's a whole bunch of packages here. So let's do dot install. And then from here, zoom out one more time. We can do a space dash Y. And what the Y does is it just confirms the installation of these packages. You don't have to have it, but it will prompt you if you want it, if, um, to make sure you want to install them. So we're going to hit control C and we're going to um, throw this into our PowerShell, paste it. And there it goes. So now it's going to um, grab the um, licenses, the approvals, and everything like that, and start to download these applications. So while it is doing this and downloading the applications and installing them, we're going to head back to here. And you can see that there are a ton of packages. We can type in, let's say, um, just code. And we'll probably see a bunch of VS Code items here. We got code notes. Um, we have uh, cloud code. A few different items here. We can try, let's just try VS Code, make sure that comes up for us. Give that a second. And there it is. Yep, there's Visual Studio Code. We can get that installed. And we can see Git Ignore. We have a whole bunch of different um, add ons for it as well, extensions, um, which is super cool. Let's try one more thing. Let's try um, Opera. Is Opera available? Yep, we can do Opera and install the Opera uh, browser if we wanted to, as well as the many different versions that I didn't know existed. Um, so that is pretty cool. That is one awesome feature 
um, of Chocolaty. There are so many packages out there and they're all community driven. And oh, it is done. So we have it installed. We have Novat Plus Plus, the Chocolaty Corn Section um, Extension 7-Zip, um, and then Firefox as well. So you can see Firefox is installed here. We can double click on it, open it right up, and it works just like you would expect. We can head over to um, our start menu and we have Novat Plus Plus. It would open just as you would expect also. And let's double check, make sure 7-Zip works. We go to show more properties, 7-Zip is here, and we can um, extract it. You know, we can open, extract it, whatever we want with it because it's there. So um, that is really cool. Now, a couple of other really neat features of Chocolaty is the upgrade options as well. So you can do a Choco upgrade all that will go through each of the packages and make sure that they are up to date. So I was going to go through, we just installed them. So it is telling us that we have the latest version already here. Um, you can also do a Choco install, um, uh, sorry, Choco upgrade just a single item. So let's say Firefox and it will go through and just check that one and update only Firefox. So it is an awesome, awesome application. Um, we use it for a lot of our clients. It just makes things so much easier when you're deploying new computers or if a client needs something um, simple, a couple of applications, you can always go through PowerShell or the backend and just install it that way. Makes it very, very simple. So just one last thing to show you is you can come over to the docs page here. I'll have all of these in the description below and you can see all the information. They have a great document guide here. You can go to the CLI and view all the setups, the um, installs, uninstalls, and so on and so forth. So this has been, um, this is a great application and I really hope you guys give it a shot. So that's it today, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, if you guys could like and subscribe and uh, enjoy your day.